Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Tamara. And, and we're, we're engaged. engaged. What is your most embarrassing story when it comes to food? I got a lot, but the first one that came to mind is when I warmed up my food in this silicone bag. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know nothing about it. A friend of mine brought it for me, and I didn't realize that I warmed up the plastic that goes with it. I warmed up a patty, ate the patty, ate the whole thing, but didn't realize that the plastic melted inside the patty. <laughs> and uh, it was embarrassing because I pretty much got sick. Um, I had to tell my friend that I ate plastic, so that that might have been my most embarrassing story. I was eating plastic. Eating plastic. Mm. What's your What's your most embarrassing story? Well, I was eating crawfish, my favorite food, with my partner Reese, and he took me to this place called L.A. Crawfish in Houston, and they had different levels of spice that you could get for your crawfish. Of course, I got the most spices. You know, I like spicy food. You know what I'm saying? So, I got that, and. I got the spices one, and I noticed when I was eating, I didn't really know he pointed it out, mm -hmm. that sweat started dripping down my face because it was so spicy. That was the first time I experienced that. And, of course, he started <laughs> laughing and clowning. So that was embarrassing because I was in the middle of a restaurant with sweat <laughs> dripping down my face, having to wipe the sweat while I ate the crawfish because <laughs> it was so spicy. But I was able to handle it, though. <laughs> That's funny. That's super funny. What foods do you wish you could still eat? but aren't able to due to digestion issues. I wish I could still eat um, Brussels sprouts and cabbage. Mm, Brussels sprouts are my favorite. Yeah, and I love them, but I can't really eat them because I have issues with, you know, my stomach's hurting them. It just, I can't. Oh, wow. So that's why when I made you the vegan spaghetti with the Brussels sprouts as a substitute for the meatballs, <laughs> you said you liked it, but you didn't eat any more. I did like it, but I just, yeah, I don't want to overdo it because I know what happens. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense why you didn't, didn't eat it. Yep. What about you? What about what are some of the foods that that you wish you can eat but you can't because it gives you indigestion problems? With me, it's mainly dairy products. I used to love to eat ice cream, especially cookies and cream. That's my favorite. And birthday cake ice cream, that's like, that's number one now, you know. So, well, not even now because I don't eat it no more because right. my um, lactose intolerance really gets to me. Mm -hmm. um, with eating that. So anything dairy, I have to do a substitute. So I don't even bother with doing the, the vegan ice cream. That's not even real. So I don't even really I eat ice cream anymore. Yeah. Um, I got to do vegan cheese, milk. I can't really drink milk, regular milk. I have to do almond milk or cashew milk. Because if I don't, my stomach will really be bothering me, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, that's just not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. I think you like the vegan ice cream, though. Okay, I may try it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you, I think you like it. Okay. What are the best fast food french fries and why? My favorite, and I think it is, is the best, are the checkers fries. The checker french fries, they're okay. like, um, they're seasoned well. They have a different type of batter. Um, I like them. They're just, they're, they have this their own style. Like, they're not just a plain fry with a, a sprinkle of salt. So I like those. I always have. Like them as a child. Like them as an adult. I love mm. those checkers fries. Yeah. That's the word. Bad well. Mine is kind of similar. I've always loved the Popeye's fries. Um, back in the day, they didn't really have. A, they weren't really putting batter on a lot of other fast food fries. They were always putting them on Popeye's fries, and that's why I like them because they were seasoned with the Cajun seasoning and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and they were brown and they were crunchy. So I always liked the Popeye's fries. Those are the best to me. And those are good too. Those are good. But but how often do you um, experience heartburn, indigestion, bloating, hmm. gas? Well, heartburn is mainly when I notice when I eat like some with like the red sauce for like pizza and um and spaghetti. tomato paste type okay. stuff, spaghetti and stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. when I feel like I experience heartburn. That's what comes to mind. Indigestion, I kind of. Lump in indigestion and heartburn, but they're probably a little different. I don't know, but mm -hmm. um, also the gas, I'm always dealing with gas like almost every day for some strange reason. Except I notice when we do our the cleanses or whatever with the tea and all that kind of stuff to clean eating, that's mm -hmm. when I didn't have gas, so I probably need to do more of that. Mm -hmm. Bloating every time after I eat, like I look thin in the morning, you know. But after I eat something, it seems like my stomach get bigger when I walk by the mirror. What about you? Um, kind of 
kind of similar. The only time, the times that I really experienced like gas or indigestion, I would say it's just the most embarrassing time. Like when I'm with somebody, like you, or you know, maybe at work or something, I'm spilling it. You know, I think that's at least once or twice a month. Um, heartburn, I don't get heartburns as much. Like I, I get it, but I don't, I don't get them as much to where I can just pinpoint it. Lucky you. Right, right. And then, <laughs> I don't get that as much. But I will say, um, bloating, that's definitely, I mean, like you said, like after I eat or once a month, you know. So, yeah. Okay, so what are you going to taste for us today? I'm going to taste these beets that you like to have in your refrigerator that I never try. Mm. I'm going to taste them. I'm nervous. That's a big piece. <laughs> this is a big piece. I think I cut them big. Yeah. It has like a first when I first bit it, it was very strong. It had like a vinegar taste. When I eat it more, it's not that bad. But to me, it's just too strong. It has like a bitter, like a dirty type, grimy, like a weird. Grimy type taste. It doesn't live up to the hype to me. Okay. It doesn't. Well, they soak those kind in vinegar. That might be the water vinegar tastes like it is. Mm. I have a spicy bean morning star patty. I got these by mistake. When I went to the store, I thought I was getting the regular vegan patties. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to taste this and see what it's, what it's doing. Mm. What you think? Mmm. Well, the consistency is kind of grimy. Tastes like beans, like straight, like eating straight beans together. It's kind of, it's very bland mm -hmm. as well. I think I like the regular the vegan patties or regular beef okay. better than these bean patties. I wouldn't recommend mm -hmm. them. So it doesn't live up to the hype? Oh, I get them. No, I don't. Live up to hype. And it's not really sp that spicy to me either. Honestly, I'm like the spicy king. I know about spicy. Because I love spicy stuff. But, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't buy them again. Yeah. Well, I guess neither one of our foods lived up to the hype. Nope, they didn't. 